Hello YouTube, back again with another video, and this is the best build in God of War Ragnarok. So yeah, if you want the best build in my opinion, follow this. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get right into it. So this is a strength build, so yeah. You're going to want the Leviathan Axe, Max, and the Fuhrer Small Handle, and you want that Max for the extra strength. Blades max, and you want the obsidian handles to be max for the extra strength. The spear, you want maxed again. And if you need help finding any of that, just look up some videos on how to get all these max. And then you also want the hind of the four winds, get that max. The shields, doesn't really matter which shield you use, just whatever one you like the most. I like the stonewall shield, but whatever shield you pick, make sure it is max. Of course, you want everything to be max. Then you want the Rond of Purification. If you don't know how to get this, you'll have to look up a video. You find it. It's the only Rond in the game that actually gives any strength. So that's why I use it. Oh, uh, what can Freya's I Sword. Have? You can use either one of the two swords. I prefer this one. I, I still needed to get this max. This is like one of the only things I don't have max. But you just got to get this max. And yeah. You can use it. I, I think this is better. The Bifrost. Oh, it works pretty well. Chest armor, you're going to want the Vidar's Max Pauldron. Wrist, the Bracers of Vidar, Max. And the Waist, you want Vidar's Max. The Amulet, you want, of course, Maxed. And, yeah, so... What I would suggest using for your Spartan Rage is Wrath. And your Relic, you want the Hilt of the whatever. I'm not going to spoil the story, but you get this from killing a certain big boss big main like central story boss in the game but yeah pretty decently late too so don't expect to get this like in the first like hour of the game um the amulet i don't even have this fully done but this is how i like to use it asgard's fortune asgard's virtue vanaheim's virtue svartalheim's safety Muspelheim's force Alfheim's Honor, Jotunheim's Essence, Nephilim's Fortune is the one that I'm going to eventually change out when I get the, um, I'm trying to get the room that you get, rune that you get for finding all 48 ravens is what you want to, um, have, because if I remember right, it gives strength, which is what our main stat is. I like, so some people swap this out for the only other one that gives strength in the game. I prefer the Emblem of the Nine Realms here because of that help we use we do um, realm shifts a lot so we're doing extra damage during those that's just personally what I personally like okay. so almost forgot to mention the spear I like the thrust of a thousand shoulders and the artillery of the ancients the artillery of the ancients what I how I suggest using this is when you get a chance you like when an enemy stunned you hit them with the thrust of a th um, thousand shoulder soldiers, and then you immediately pop the artillery of the ancients. And once you see those the little spears getting stuck on them, you hit triangle, and you smack the spear, making all the things explode. But what's cool about artillery of the ancients is it sticks those little things in them. So as they're like constantly exploding, and it'll deal like a third of their health down. That's how I use that. For the blades, I think it does. These runes don't really matter, or whatever they're called, the uh, attacks. But I'm just showing what I use: Hades, Retribution, and Tame the Beast. And then for the axe, I use um, Wrath of the Frost Ancient and Fog of Fimble Winter. But yeah. Oh, here the one last thing I can think of is your skills. You want to make sure to get them all like as high as you can make sure Freya's got them all Freya's pretty important she helped a lot especially with the uh my frost star for awning it's pretty late but yeah best build see you later peace